Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this video, I'm going to be going over my HCF devlog number two. And I'm just going to add my simple tack montage. It's going to be able to be used while moving or not while jumping. And let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go over to my inputs and add an input action. And I'll call this IA attack. I'll double click into it. And I'll add a trigger with the index of zero being pressed. I'll hit save. I can exit out of this. Go to my IMC default and let's add a new mapping. And this, I'm just gonna add it right here. And then I will use my left mouse button. I'll go ahead and add that trigger. Press again. That was release, press. Now what I'm gonna wanna do is make sure in my project settings that my tags are set up to take action. So I have these set to none right now. I actually need to add my actions. So I'll go ahead and add actions. Actually, actually I'll go ahead and copy this from the ACF file. So I'll look for the tags or action tags. And I'm just gonna drag it into my content and copy here. Then I'll right click, create a folder called data, drag the action tags in there. And let me just go over this. This has a lot more than what I need, but this looks good for now. And then in my project settings, go to gameplay tags. And I'll add gameplay tag table list. And oh, I did not rename it. So I'll just rename this to something like cow action tags. And I'll just go ahead and add this here. And that's just so that when I go back to setting my tags, the move set actions root tag. And now my actions shows up because I added that data table. I'll go ahead and add actions to be my root tag. Default action state. So I'll actually cancel this one because this is for move set. Default action state, I'll leave this as actions. And then for a default hit state, I'll do something like actions.hit. And then for the death state, I'll do actions.death because that's already in here. And I'll leave the rest blank for now. And I can cancel out of this. Now I'm going to go to my, ca my character blueprint. I'm going to double click and under my ACF actions comp or my actions manager, I'm going to need to add my own action set. This is using ACF action set. I'll create a new folder called actions and I'll just create a blueprint class of an ACF action set and I'll call this cow underscore AS. And in order for me to put anything in here, I actually need to add a montage or an animation in the state of montage. So since I just want to do a simple attack, I am going to create a montage. So in my animations, I'm actually just going to create more folders. <laughs> Call this one montage. And then I'll right click, go to animation and click animation montage and select the bull skeleton and call this attack or cow attack. Now I'm just going to drag in that attack animation. So I have, an, I have two. I have attack, swing, attack, throw. This one's going to be used for my swing. Yep, this looks good. And then I'll add notify track. And on the first one, I'm just going to add something like ACF notify action when it begins. And then right around here is when I want my damages to start. So I'll add ACF action substate from here and then I'll add an ACF notify exit action. And this is good. So I'm going to hit save and go back to my action set that I created. And I'm going to add this montage action. And since the only one, it'll be easy to find. The action, I'm actually going to create a new action. The default is actually ACF attack action blueprint. And actually, I could just use the ACF attack action blueprint. I just have to make sure that the action cost. Default, it's set to RPG statistics stamina values 32. We don't have this set. We don't have any stamina set right now, so it would never be used. So I'll go ahead and exit that. And then for the tag name, I'm going to select actions.attack. Actions.attack. And now I want to go over to my character blueprint. And I'm actually just going to organize this. Okay. Now I want to add my IA underscore attack. And all this is going to do is 
the triggered. I'm going to drag the triggered over to a trigger action. And I'm going to select the action that we created. So actions on attack. And then I'll comment this be my attack. And now when I hit play, and now when I hit play and use my left mouse button, oh, it's not working. And that's actually because that's because we didn't add it to our cow blueprint. So when I go to my cow blueprint or my character blueprint, go to my actions comp, I need to change the action set to the one that I created. So I changed it here. It's okay to leave movement actions blank. And if well, I'll put, I'll turn debug on here just for testing purposes. And now that my action set is in place, I'll hit compile and I'll run. And you can see my character attacking. So I'll go back, play, and you'll see these weird circles of the attack stuff. That's just because we turned the debug on. So I'll make sure the priority is set to medium, and then I'll hit play. And now we can see our character is moving and attacking. And you'll see on the top left that our combo counter is going off. So it's going to, it's going to be zero because I only have one attack. And then it's going to say entered state actions dot attack. And then it's going to say go to none because after the attack's over, it goes back to none. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Next, I want to add my jump. So in order to do that, I am going to go back to my inputs and I'll right click under input. I'll add an IA underscore jump, double click. And I'll leave this as a bool and I'll add a trigger for pressed. And under my IMC default, I'll add a mapping called IA jump. And then I'll set it to my spacebar. And then back to my cow BP, I'll add IA jump. And then I'll just drag the trigger out to a jump. And then on completed, I want to do stop jump. And now when I hit play, my character can jump. And I'll play the animations we set in its animation blueprint the last video. So it can jump and it can't attack midair. So that's pretty important because we haven't set a jump attack. So I can attack while I'm on the ground and then start jumping after. And if you want to jump sooner while the attack animation is going off, you would just drag this action notify. Let's say like right at the beginning. I guess that did not work. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much just how you get that animation and jump stuff set up. And in order to turn off the debug, you would just go back to your blueprint Go to your actions comp and uncheck this print debug info. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.